Exactly. Oh, oh, oh okay. Okay. These oh. are your pair in here. This is yeah, your binary yeah. triplet. So if you go like this. But, but also the, the one next yeah, to that, at it the red you... one is a, is just moving in, a, in, a, in an opposite direction. I mean, if you were just to construct this without any the, theoretical considerations, if you just said, I need to remember how to construct this, it seems, couldn't you just take that, say that blue one, you start with that blue one, no, no, the one that you started with before. Where is it at? No, no. Yeah, yeah that, blue that, that one. one. That one. one. And if you use one, two, four, eight, seven, five going up, right? Okay. Four, eight, seven, five, right? Uh huh. And if you started to the, the red one diagonally to the right, no, 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 there. And you went one, two, four, eight, seven, you get the same numbers, right? The pattern? You, you go one, two, four, eight, seven, five only backwards, right? Okay, Charlie. You asked for it. <laughs> and, and your point is? Um, I'm just asking you, you know, I was asking you, you did, uh, you did not intend to construct it that way. And I don't know if it works out throughout the chart that way. But that's what I'm seeing right now. In other words, they're moving in opposite directions, but it's the same numbers, except separated by the, the mirrors 693, 396, 693, 396. Over and over again, always. Right. The same Which pattern. That middle no matter what. Stand. That's right. Here's what we're looking at, right? This is our lattice, our matrix. Yeah. Okay. Show you when. Yes, you can make it if you just know. In fact, if you just know three numbers, you know everything. Okay. Here's your um, one, two, four, eight, seven, five. That's the pattern that you saw? Okay. Um, so and then you red, said... You'd make a red one right next to You have to make it red, though. Well, I'm going to okay, And then you like go that. one, two. The two would be... Uh, up okay, but red. watch this. So we know it's... So right here we had a, a five, a seven, an eight, a four, two, um, a one, yeah. a five. And that's how we make it, huh? Okay. Watch this. So This is for everyone to understand. You want to make it by just knowing that pattern. But right. every single axis, remember our 3D that's underneath here that I just erased, our 3D coordinate system, um, which is um, the toroid right here, which is explained in this bar. Remember I said the multiplication table? Remember I said it was XYZ? Here's our 8 and 1s this way. Here's our 4 and 5s this way. Okay, let me show you what I mean. I can make this whole thing by just knowing that, by looking at... Um, Except um, one, two, four, eight, seven, five. Except the one, we actually did it backwards. Might as well do it right. It goes two, seven, two, seven. Let me do this right. I see. Together, two, seven, two, seven. This would have been one, two, four. This is a one, five, seven, eight, four, two, one. We had them going in reverse direction, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, so sure enough, any way you go, it will have to mean something. So we're going to look for the 9. Okay, we have the 9 goes right here. And from any direction, the 9, it's going to make the toroid skin. Why did you choose the 9 right there? Because the 9's all, that's because I knew if we had two numbers here, 7, 8, the next number after it must be 9. Oh, I see. And this must be a 1, yeah. and this must be a 2, and this must be a 6 then, and this must be a 5. Okay. So I got units of one, four, five, six, okay, six, seven, eight, okay. Three above that. Okay, but let's go the opposite direction. Let's say I just have a nine here, I have a five here, I have a one here. What must be over here? Uh, six, perfect. Okay, or let's say I have a four here, I have an eight here. What must be over here? Three. Exactly right, okay. And uh, so not only can we figure that this must be a nine right here because it's two, one, nine, but we also know that it would be 3, 8, 4, 9. Okay? Because 8 and 4 is 3. Because 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 5 okay, is 13 is 4. And 4 plus 5 is 9. Right. Okay? Or we could have figured it that it was a 9 right here because of the fact that here we have a 7, 8, 9. And if we've gone 6, 9, if we have a 9, we know on the opposite side of a 9, if one side is a 6, it must be a 3 on the other side. So we had 6, 9, 3. And then three nine. So again, it would have been a nine. Yeah. So any way we approach it, we always know what the number is going to be. It's like the ultimate crossword puzzle with no spaces in it. Right. 
everything matches. So. All right. Yeah. Okay. It's the cross world. Six, <laughs> nine, three, three, six, three nine, nine, six. Yeah. Six, nine, three. And this would have been three, nine, six, six, nine, three. Right. And we would have had nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. And now we've got this pattern again. So it's six, nine, three, three, nine, six. Right. And we've got seven, five, one, two, four, eight. And we can go two, three, four, five, six. And we can actually count all the way over to here. Two, one, nine, eight, seven, six. And now we've got two, three, four, five, six. So now we can go diagonally. We've got eight, four, two, one, five, seven. Or we could have gone... Um, is that right? Um, five, one, six. Yeah. Just fill them all in. Yeah. One, two, four, eight, seven. So we got, or we can go this way. Four, eight, three. Four, eight, seven, five, seven, eight, six. And no, can't be three sixes in a row. Eight, like seven, six, four, five, number. six, seven, eight, it's, nine. Like there's more of some numbers and less of others. Yeah. Like there's less fours. No, there's no less for Doesn't us. Doesn't it look like that though? No. When you just look at it as a glance? No, it looks all I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a door checker here, to frisk you for fours. <laughs> you, know, you know what the nice thing to do for visual is to you know how you, you do a like car by numbers. You could just put a car for each of those numbers. Yeah, that's where programming for computers yeah. and animation could be. Because it would be a lot easier in the eyes too. Well, but there's another reason why I did this way. You'll see that in a minute. Yes, Charlie? And any two diagonals add up to either 7 or 2. Now, I don't know the significance of that. 9, 7, or 16 is 1 and 7. If you start with any... All of those mean something. 2, 7, 2, 7, 2, 7. That's a new polarity. Yeah. Right? No, it's not new. That's your z-axis. That's the invisible 9. Your multiples of 7 coming out. Yeah, but they're all... But 5 and 4 are... are, 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 are multples nine. of 9? But that's a different axis. And you don't get any um, 5, 4, 5, 4. But you see, here's the trick, Charlie and everybody, and it's not a trick. This is why it's so important. Now, into your center, right now, our vertical axis around it is your eight and one. They're the first numbers around the nine vertically. So you can see them vertically, because you can see the toroid skin vertically. It's not hard. Um, one in eight is a vertical axis around nine, yes. Yeah. So you can see the vertical axis of the toroid, okay, that it's 9, 8, 7, 6, uh, 5, 4. So you got 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, because the first number around 9, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 8, so 9, so 1 and 8 is your vertical axis. The reason that you, you don't, you can see them is because they're your vertical axis. And you can see the 5 and 4, okay, because they're your vertical axis, okay, which is 4, 8, 12, okay, 16, um, what is 4 times 5 is 20, 24, 6, okay, or multiples of 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Remember, it was a double coordinate system. The blue is all negative numbers, the red is all positive numbers. That gives you your diagonal, which is how time moves, how the universe moves, of, posi of positive negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. But it's based on a very sophisticated system, okay, of, um, of positive and negative really being two coordinate systems. One's your one and eights and five, and uh, one's your one, four, sevens being yellow, and your blacks is your two, eight, fives being black. Overlapped, Charlie, together. This is a double coordinate system, which is then how you get to the sides negative, positive, negative, positive, through the sides, negative, positive, okay? Um, and that's what these colors represent, okay? Okay, so, I still, yeah. go ahead. Have you ever done this and not put the nines in just to see what the pattern would look like? Because if they're really invisible, maybe you should make them invisible in the graph. Just to see what it would show you. It's more complicated than that. Maybe it's telling you something. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, I do know what you mean. And yes, it should be done. And everything should be done. Um, but actually, if you're going to omit the nines or make them invisible, 
Actually, I spend a lot of time doing what you're saying, but I use it for modeling the energy of the planet. Matter is like the spirit, yeah. and you take the spirit away from matter, you don't have matter. But I'm just but what I'm sense, not yeah. like. But I do it in another sense. I, I leave in the red nines, I take out the blue nines, which are negative, and I show the negative gra draft counter space. So all this really is valid. All these approaches, all these directions, doing all this stuff, is connected. Molly. Okay, so what did I just do here? This is the coil. Okay. Now the first strand, as it comes around, and comes around back again. This tile right here, let's look at this tile. I'm going to circle the one, two, four, this one right here. See it? Okay. This tile does not occur again on the same axis. It's not easy. Okay, I want to just follow this line. Where is it? It's this one over here. Looks it. So all the way over here, which should be three over. Three of the binary triplets. So sure enough, one, two, three. Do you see that? Okay. What that means is that I can't just keep on winding this wire like this. That means it has to go around in the star shape in spires before it comes around here and other windings have to fill in in between. That means there has to be a space in between this one and this one. And that's why this coil is wound in this shape. Remember I had in between one and two? Look at all the numbers I got in between them. See, one, two, three, four. Okay, four went around from here, one to four, which is the next time around. Remember this time around, the next time it around, it's all the way over to here. And to get, but to get from one to four, to have these two in between it, how many do I have in between it? One, two. So in between one and four, six and eleven, which gives me one, two, three. The family number group is the numbers isn't really what's mattering in the family number group, is that it's showing that everything is separated by thirds. It doesn't matter that a four is a four, or a one and one is or a seven is a seven. It's saying nothing more than everything has a phasing or an energy, a positioning of thirds based on stars and spiral and stars and uh, spirals, spires, not spirals, spires. Because this emanation is, has a, a sequence order, a phasing, a firing rate, an activation sequence. Real complicated stuff. There's nothing more harder than what I just told you. Okay? But as long as we're on it, and I never get the opportunity to talk about it, I think I'll go to, to my, my most hardest sport for a Can second. Can I just ask you one more question? Mark? Sure. You said that 2 and 7 is the z-axis. Is that right? Correct. Okay. So Actually... That's the only z-axis ever. Right. No. Oh. Two and, okay. It gets more complicated. But 2 and 7 is fundamentally distinct from the 1, 8, and the 5, 4. In other words, no. As an axis? Um, yeah. No, let me just answer your question without it being posed, and you tell me where you're okay. driving at. Okay, I'm okay. not sure. But um, what is happening is, is um, remember I did that chart with three different controls? You still only have 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5. You only have the three polar pairs of 8 and 1, uh, 7 and 2, and 5 and 4. But in this system, you also have, because everything's in threes, you also can do a, um, what we call a activation, moment of activation. It's called a, 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 um, a stage, activation stage. And any, each one of those polar pairs can rotate to another axis. Okay. What counts is it can only be those solar pairs, polar pairs. They're only separated by third, and you're changing from one axis to another. And they actually have a sequence order of how they change. And I believe that happens on, if I ever did computer modeling, I would show it, as you have more layers. Each layer could, would be a different family number, would be another polar pair. Do you follow what I'm saying? I think I do, yeah. Okay. In other words, it's a lot more complicated than even we've begun to discuss, but, but your mind's contemplating all that stuff already. We've all contemplated real compl complicated stuff. You were very complicated. You're very complicated. Everyone's been real complicated, okay? And, but, you know, this is your first class. <laughs> so, but all that stuff is real. It will transpire. It does happen. What is this math where really they could be said? It's number permutations. 
And what are we looking at? We're looking at the toroid, which is the ultimate shape for number transformation, for energy transformation. That's why your, your blood cells are a toroid. 